about CNN's ratings <laughs> and MSNBC's ratings post-election. They've crashed. Oh, All these left-wing kooks on YouTube are hemorrhaging subscribers mm -hmm. where people go, you guys are out of touch, you're not accurate, you're delusional, and people are speaking with their subscriptions. Rachel Maddow is the first person to see some of the pay cuts coming down to MSNBC. Rachel Maddow made $30 million a year. Do people still watch her? I find it really hard to believe that people still watch Rachel Maddow. I think what happens is there's a lot of hospitals and nursing homes that turn on MSNBC during Rachel Maddow's hour and then just let it run in the background. She ain't making $30 million anymore. She's only making $25 million now. She only works once a week. She comes into the office one time a week to sit down and spew propaganda and lie to the American people about the things that are going on and then leaves once a week. $30 million seems a little excessive for working once a week. Comcast is in the middle of selling off MSNBC. Yes, it is actually amazing to see how these people are burning. Mm. I didn't expect this to be happening. There's pure lies, lies upon lies. Now they are ratings things crashing. They want to sell off MNBC. When you take a look at this tweet, Elon must want to know how much MNBC costs to buy. I would pay to see him walk into Rashid Madhu's studio with a famous singing. A lot of people are extremely excited that Elon Musk is proposing to buy MNBC. He started like a joke. We saw the same thing with Twitter when he wanted to buy. He asked how much. The same thing he is doing with this network. People are serious about it. When you go through, you can see that these people are not doing well. Rachel, the other day, is in tears because they had to trim her salary to a level she has never experienced and they continue to call out Elon Musk over and over. They cannot get over it because X is actually where people take their news. They don't depend again on the mainstream media. Elon Musk bought X and turned it into a, a you know, the, the social media arm of the MAGA movement. And we all sat there right in the middle of it during the campaign, possibly not realizing that we're sitting there like fat chickens just getting attacked all day and just being part of this MAGA messaging. However, the election's over. Everybody's getting smarter and better. I'm not sure that the right idea is to leave Twitter and just go to Blue Sky, a friendlier place, because then we remain in our echo chambers. I don't think that you should necessarily stay in Twitter every day and battle it out and let yourself doom scroll of all the hate coming at you. But I want to see it. I want to read what's happening there, right? And, and so I think at least staying in those spaces is important because I want to hear the other things. Eddie, you know, you know, John Heilman, it is interesting following up on this Elon Musk point, you know, as far as don't make yourself too big, right? Right? <laughs> if you want to stick around, it's very interesting um, that Elon Musk publicly mm. on X, I, I think it was yesterday, publicly was pressuring Donald Trump to pick Lutnick yeah. as Treasury Secretary, yeah. along with the esteemed Cat Turd. Yeah. And as, as goes Cat Turd on X, yeah. so goes Middle America. Yeah. Um, but the, the pressuring, uh, for those of you who don't know, that's an account. I think it's an account yeah, on X, right? A, yeah. yeah. And, and, and this account, Cat Turd, was actually way I'm ahead. a little concerned that you know that, but okay. Yes. You can now understand why Comcast want to split these people because they realize what these people spew on air is affecting NBC. So the only thing to do now is to split them off. Russia used to receive a lot of money every year, but from the information we are getting, they have cut down to 25 million. But I really asked myself, what is this lady doing to be taking this amount of money? I really want to know. B. O'Reilly dropped a bombshell revealing Comcast want to throw NBC overboard to save NBC from a hateful reality. They are not putting anything into MNBC. They want to sell it off. You can get MNBC for nothing. The next show on the media chopping block is ABC The View. ABC News is going to have to cut ties with The View. O'Reilly Review, Living Chris and Stephen A. Speechless. Going down to kiss the ring with Trump, they say, you know, we had to meet 
meet with him. I don't have any problem with people meeting with the president elect. I mean, right. that's an opportunity any journalist mm -hmm. would take. Um, what is your take on it, Stephen A. Smith, for people who haven't seen the show? Well, Bill, uh, yeah, I, you know, on the Stephen A. Smith show uh, this, this evening, you know, I basically called it out and I said, wait a minute, you know, you, you know, you associated him with Nazis. Um, you called him a racist. Did you tell him that to his face when you went to Mar-a-Lago? Did you confirm that you still feel that way? <laughs> or did you turn around and retract sure, that statement? Sure. And, you, and you, did you turn around and retract that statement to his face and say, hey, that you were wrong? I don't even think I he's said, requested an apology. Well, well again, it, it doesn't Trump have to. Trump just wants to, to do well, business. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, being an adult, you know, if that's what you did, first of all, it shouldn't have been done in the first place, particularly by folks in that position. And secondly, if you did it, but then you asked to meet with him, mm -hmm. he didn't, it wasn't the other way around. And then you met with him. Did you acknowledge that you said those things, apologize for it or stand in front of his mm -hmm. face and tell him how you felt? Because I think that goes a long way towards really redirecting, mm -hmm. uh, to use their word in terms of the direction that they were going in and how they needed to redirect and, you know, look things over. Comcast said you two were going to have to try to mend some uh, cliche fences and you two are going to go in there and you're going to try to tamp it down. Because Comcast knew the next day they were going to announce that MSNBC is vapor. That is a huge meteor story. Why Enormous. is it vapor? Just because they're there spinning no it off and putting them in the... Well, they're spinning off a bunch there's of no brands. There's no spinoff. There is. It's a no, spinoff company. There's no spinoff. That, see, you buy the propaganda, Cuomo. Oh, okay. See what I mean about I'm just saying people? what's being reported. All right. But what, how do, what do you know? Yeah, I know, but why would you believe what's being reported? You want the real story? Here yes, it comes. please. So they're uncoupling their word, Comcast, MSNBC from NBC News. That means MSNBC has no resources at all. None. They're not going to be able to pay these people millions of dollars, Rachel Maddow, whatever she's making. NBC News is saying, we don't want you around. Why? Because NBC News's numbers, uh, Lester Holt and the Today Show, are catastrophe because half the country equates NBC News with MSNBC and they won't watch. So NBC is desperately trying to save the mothership of information mm. and they have to throw MSNBC overboard. They're not putting anything into MSNBC. They want to sell it. So where's Georgie Soros now? Georgie's buying radio stations. You can get MSNBC for nothing. They'll give it to you. They don't want any more of this. Why? Because it's hateful. Not because it's so far left. The whole NBC Comcast hierarchy is far left. But it's hateful. They hate Trump. They hate people who vote for Trump. Everybody knows that. And you know what's next? The View. ABC News is going to have to cut ties with The View. And you saw that today or yesterday when Sonny Hostin had to read a legal statement in the middle of a segment. When you take a look at this article recently put out by the Guardian, the U.S. telecommunication giant Comcast are now planned to spin up cable news network, including MNBC and E as traditional TV audiences continue to dwindle. NNBC, e, CNBC, USA, Oxygen, SIF, and the Gulf Channel will form part of a new publicly traded company while Comcast focuses on brands including NBC and Bravo. When you look at our asset, talented management team, and balance sheet strength, we are able to set these businesses up for future growth, said Brian. The spin of company will have significant financial resources from the onset, Robert Klim, and be highly positioned for success and highly attractive to investors, content creators, distributors, and potential partners. A lot more is coming out asking the price of the selling these. I don't know how serious he is, but believe Elon Musk when he starts something like this at the end of the day he is damn serious I saw this and if you check on X right now MNBC is training I have a legal note <laughs> you want to take this one Joy or are you Matt good? Gates no, <laughs> has long denied all allegations on screen <laughs> Sonny you have a legal note I do have a legal note thank you Whoopi <laughs> 
Matt Gates has long denied all allegations. Play that sound for me again with what Oprah Winfrey said. What do you think about all the celebrities with their mass exodus? Over these numbers, $10 million for Beyonce. It's to make real change. He's got to not attack the left, not attack everybody. Let them all talk their shit. But unite. Now yeah. it's time to unite everybody. The Harris is because they have been paid. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not true, okay. Hey. I want you to know what would change after doing this. I'm gonna shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. That guy. You mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute. Absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. Um... Hey there. I'm guessing you're not doing great. Me neither. Let's be honest. It was a terrible night. What will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right now? Well. <laughs> Bishop Vigano. He says that the. A lot of people were confused about why. The sacrifice. But that's okay because you know what? Listen. 